Hello and welcome to Prime Time, your one-stop shop for gaming news. I'm your host Swiper and today we're going to be looking at what to expect for E3 2021. With a few days before E3, fans are excited with anticipation for the return of their favorite series, new IPs, and even a possible console reveal from Nintendo. However, for fans that want a little taste of what's to come, the Summer Game Fest will host a kickoff with a showcase of world premieres and a preview for the future of gaming. Speaking of world premieres, Coach Primetime is set to have a gaming stream after the kickoff on June 11. Fans are hoping to finally see the reveal for Saints Row 5 and a possible announcement for Dead Island 2? As someone who's been a fan of the Saints Row series for a while though, I'm curious to see how the games can get even crazier, but I'm sure Coach can make it happen. Before E3 officially kicks off on June 12, indie game fans can look forward to another Guerrilla Collective showcase and what's been titled as an Wholesome Direct. I don't know what to expect for a Wholesome Direct, but I sure hope that it's adorable. And for those who are not one for ooey gooey content, you can look forward to the Ubisoft forward showcase that will be falling close behind, and I expect that it'll be anything but cute and cuddly. In my opinion, Ubisoft actually has a lot to share on the table, and I'm excited to see what they unveil. There are rumors a few months ago that Ubisoft was looking to make a feudal Japan-themed Assassin's Creed, which would be amazing with the right approach. With the recent success of Ghost of Tsushima and Sekiro, I feel that these rumors could come to fruition. Of course, this isn't the only game to look out for. Fans are still wanting to hear about the new Star Wars open world game, Beyond Good and Evil 2, and the Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake. This isn't crazy enough for me. Oh, this isn't crazy enough for you? Nope. Okay then, let's get crazy. And I know just who to ask. Devolver Digital will be revealing five new games at this year's Devolver Cinematic Universe Showcase. After the success of Fall Guys this past year, Devolver is definitely looking to keep the ball rolling, and it looks like Phantom Abyss might just be the game to do it. This game looks like Fall Guys meets Temple Run, except replace the monkeys with Temple Spirits. Phantom Abyss will be an asynchronous multiplayer game where players can use the phantoms of past players to guide them to victory, and apparently only one player gets the treasure at the end. Or maybe the real treasure are the friends that we made along the way. On June 13th, the show kicks off with Xbox and Bethesda Showcase, which could very well steal the show with no word from Sony so far. Fable and Halo, two of Xbox's most prized franchises, are bound to make an appearance, and we'll hope that it'll be a good one. After the demo with Craig the Brute and literally no content from Fable, fans are thirsty for updates and hopefully release dates for both games. As far as the Bethesda portion of the show goes, things are looking a little complicated. With Microsoft's recent acquisition, things are kind of still up in the air as far as the PlayStation exclusivity of Deathloop and Ghostwire, and whether those games will be available to Xbox players in the future. Something I can be fairly confident about, however, is a Starfield update. After the reveal trailer being first shown at E3 2018, it just might be time to see some gameplay. Or, and hear me out on this, we could get an update about the Indiana Jones game. Please? If it's anything like Uncharted, you can take my money right now. I'm serious. You want cash or card? Speaking of things that are going to be emptying my wallet, Square Enix is due to reveal more about Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7 R Part 2, the rumored Souls-like Final Fantasy game, and maybe even more about Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis. What? They have more than just Final Fantasy? <laughs> Enix just revealed that Babylon Fall, Life is Strange, True Colors, and Marvel's Avengers have been confirmed for this year's up-and-coming showcase. Players are also interested in seeing updates for Forspoken and Project Triangle Strategy, which are likely to be shown in this year's showcase as well. Questions have yet to be answered about a new Guardians of the Galaxy game, but this could be the Marvel-based hit that Enix has been looking for. E3 will come to a conclusion with a Nintendo Direct followed by a Nintendo Treehouse Live. Rumors on Twitter suggest that we will at least get the reveal of the Breath of the Wild 2 title, a Mario Kart 9 announcement, a Splatoon 3 test fire event, and the announcement of a third fighter pass, meaning that the last two fighters would be revealed. 
I'm not sure about Mario Kart 9, but I think all the other rumored material is very likely to happen this year. I also think we are definitely getting an update on the recently announced Pokemon games since all three games have confirmed release dates. As far as things I'd love to see, I really want to know more about the Super Nintendo Switch or the Switch Pro. I don't really see myself upgrading immediately unless the Breath of the Wild 2 requires it, but I can see some of the quality of life improvements that could be made with an upgrade. I'd really like to see Sora and or Eggman get into Smash, and not as me costumes, please. Uh, I think those are the only two fighters left that I would really be excited about seeing other than Kiryu, which has unfortunately been deconfirmed already by Yakuza creators. If not Sora, then I think Neku from The World Ends With You wouldn't be too much of a stretch considering that the second game is bound to come out soon. As E3 comes to a close, that still leaves us with the question as to where Sony fits into all of this. They have tons of titles to update us on, including God of War Ragnarok, Ghostwire Tokyo, Sifu, and Five Nights Security Breach to name a few. Speaking of updates, here's a list of games that I want to update from if not E3, then very soon. But that is a lot of information to go through and E3 hasn't even started yet. But I am very excited for this year and can't wait to stream it all on Twitch very soon. It's going to be a long week, but I'm happy things are starting to feel somewhat normal again. So let me know down in the comments below what is the game announcement that you're highly anticipating. For me, that's definitely Breath of the Wild 2. I need to get more information. I need the pre-order to be out. I want my collector's edition now. But with that being said, I hope you all will take care. I'll see you soon. And this is Swiper signing off.